like Donovan Mitchell. <laughs> I'd rather I mean, Casey you die said, you said I'd rather name. Casey die than Donald Mitchell. I'd rather Casey die. Are we running right now? You, can't, record. you can't even you say I didn't mean to. to. Tommy Smokes, I the rundown's I mean, live. Tommy, Tommy Smokes <laughs> just said he would rather Casey Smith die than Donovan Mitchell. <laughs> no, me, you said exactly that. I word. did say that, but I meant, like, I think it'd be worse if, like, an, a pro athlete in tip-top shape dies than, like, an average white girl. And I didn't mean it. No, no, no. Down. I'd rather some <laughs> some below average nondescript oh, no. white girl. I'm out. Come grab a mic. Oh, come no. grab a mic, Casey. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, come over here and tell the me. Average, all right, the conversation He's right. He's still coming. The converse, The conversation right, right before that was. was so I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> no, I just watched him. KFC was saying how the worst possible thing is if like your average white Becky girl like dies, and I'm saying I think worse than that would be like a pro athlete dying who's in tip top shape. Yeah, I think that that that's, that's, that's not what you said. said. That's said not what you said. Well, exactly. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but you were you were taking it to Kate. You made Casey the example. And you I'm, made Casey no, the example. No, no, you said Casey bad. first. You were like you said. You said I would rather Casey die than Donovan Mitchell. There's no confusing what you meant. No, I'd rather someone like you die than someone like Donovan Mitchell. If, if my choices are Casey Smith or Donovan Mitchell specifically, I'd rather Donovan Mitchell die. That's not what you said at first. Mm -mm. I'm happy you clarified that. I'd rather a, I'd rather a Casey Smith type <laughs> die than a Donovan <laughs> Mitchell what type. type is that? What does that mean? Yeah, what type is I'm, that? I'm just going to go sit down. I'm just going to go sit down in my... See you, average Casey. <laughs> You're not a pro athlete. I'm sure not. I think if a pro athlete gets gets it and dies, we're fucked. Like you if, can if tell a pro by the way his voice is going <laughs> up. <laughs> if, a pro, if, if a tip top pro athlete gets it and dies, any of us can die. Is all yeah, I'm saying. That his is voice true. Just turned to the brand of Casey true, was bro. unfortunately the example. Okay. <laughs> it's back. It's back with a vengeance. No, no, not at a time like this. Presented by Tom, Tom. Tom me. Wow. Hooters is back in a big way for college basketball, although uh, it's just back. <laughs> no. Hooters is here to replace your college basketball. Tournament hasn't been canceled it yet. It is, Dan. Dan. No. Dan. Dan. You aren't reading the news, Kevin. Dan. He's reading, though. You don't mm -hmm. read the news. Uh, it's coming. It's coming, dude. There's no way. So Hooters, uh, listen, there may not be basketball to watch. There may not be anything to watch, but there are Hooters wings to eat. So right now, you know, maybe maybe you don't get to place your bets. Maybe you can't watch some hoops, but you can eat some delicious wings. You can have a grand old time at Hooters. Brandon and Marty, they're like they're like royalty there. They go to Hooters and it's a it's a it's a phenomenal time. They put a picture. Uh, Nearly ten of the top coaches in college basketball have spoken and are on board with the following idea: Selection Sunday on is planned. Postpone the NCAA tournament. And continue to monitor the situation. Dude, that is so canceled. We're going to monitor. That We're is monitoring. the most canceled. Are you rooting for it? You are Just to watch you squirm. You're Just to watch you squirm. <laughs> you're a jerk. I don't know what else the fuck no, I'm going to do tonight. I know, I know. I, I understand. I had meatballs and Hot Pockets last night. Well, what you should be having is I a delicious a fucking wing right now I from, from, uh, from Hooters. Looks so fantastic. I, I don't know if we can do, you know, I don't know what the Final Four is going to happen. Uh, but if, they, if it does, Brandon and Marty will be there courtesy of Hooters. Uh, the guys will be hanging out, eating all March, regardless of what happens with basketball, and you should too. So uh, make sure you follow along with us, and make sure you hit up your Hooters and get your wings, because uh, what else are you going to do? There's nothing else to do. I can't believe this happened the day that, like, this was literally, the Thursday of Conference Championship Week is really when, when it, it all kick kicks off. off. Yeah. I went 6-1 and one last night. I'm, I have, Kevin, You're on a hot streak. I have never won as much money as I've won the last two weeks gambling. That this is no joke. This is not a hyperbole. This is the hottest I have ever been gambling in my entire life. That's tough. I'm up like 20 units in the last two weeks. I went six I've and just one been last night. Stacking, stacking units. Look I've never been hotter. Wow. They're doing it to us. This is but I got too hot. For us. I got too Would hot. Would you rather? Okay, because I was gonna say, you know, the universe balances itself out. So you're up here because of gambling. You're down here because of because of life. March madness. How much? How much would you? What, what type of losing streak would you be willing to go on? Because we know you're not going to get coronavirus. Uh, what would you no, do? No, I know we're probably all going to get well, it. Well, you're going to get it. But yeah, 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 yeah. anybody who's saying that Dan needs to actually intentionally go yeah. get it because of I his look into it. I, I don't know if that's even legally possible, but it actually would be the better path because if you get it injected at like a hospital, they inject you with the lesser strain right. to do tests on you. That's a man. I did some reading. research. Last that's night. a man that reads. So like I I don't know if you legally can just be like, hey, get I want out. it. Yeah. 
if I can't, if someone knows. How, how much of a losing streak would you go on to ensure the tournament goes on? Whatever it takes. Yeah. How much money? For the greater good. A lot. Would you lose 10 grand betting? Would you lose yes. 20 grand I would betting? Lose yes. 50 grand? Yes. 100 grand? Eh. I don't, I don't have that much money. You, right now, you would put up 50 grand to make sure the tournament happens? Yeah, if I, if, 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 would people know? It's me? No. If I was like no, 50 grand no, and no I'm glory. the hero? No glory. It's just yeah, your I personal enjoyment. Would, could I pay the 50 grand and then still try to win it back? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'd shit I'd just myself win it for a full week. What? I'd shit myself and walk around in it for a full week. I really would. Okay. I wouldn't care. All right. Careful. Like, if they cancel it, outright cancel it, I want coronavirus. I will electively take coronavirus because at that point, there's no reason to, live. to be healthy. If they cancel oh, March me. Madness, there is no well, right, there's no this? reason for me to be here. You might have to. I've, yeah, yeah. Like, I've said some no, but things. That'll that actually hey, here's do. the thing. Careful. We don't know. Maybe that will do it. So maybe you should do that. I'll write a letter. Maybe coronavirus will hear it's, that Marty <laughs> shit his pants for a week and... We were talking about on, on uh, Pick Central, but like the fact that Tuesday I was like, they cannot cancel a tournament and how fast it happened... I, and like it, it's shades of Laker Dan. Last Laker night, Dan yeah, that that, that, that really turned on Laker a dime Dan real quick. Laker Dan was not I good. Said, last night not was good. one of the more not good. Not good. Uh, <laughs> that was one of the most stunning nights, yeah, in history. And that that's not hyperbole. I mean, what we what we lived through last night was a a historical moment, and I I think it was it was the craziest since 9/11. Some people threw out the 2008 recession. I know that was obviously a global issue. But as far as canceling sports. sports, canceling flights, uh, and just like the overall, you know, let's put on the news like and watch sports and learn. Sports got it us through like 9/11. Right. That's now what I mean. we can't even can, do anything. We can't even lean on that. I actually don't like, and obviously this is I, I I take coronavirus a lot more serious now. Although I always I want on the record I always did respect it. Some people in this mm -hmm. office have not respected mm -hmm. it. Uh, I don't actually know. I think tonight I'll go home. Maybe watch Netflix, or whatever. But like, what what's gonna happen on Saturday? Oh, like when you're just oh, like, wait, dear. there's there there's no sports. Oh. You just gotta keep. I don't Netflix. think we you realize do? how much it's will, day to day. I'm gonna write. I'll write like a blog for for guys like you of like here's here's some shows to stream. Here's some things to watch. Here's how to fill your time. There's don't worry. There's I'm, more entertainment. Out I there wish for I had never Marty. watched Game of Thrones so I could just start it over. Well, so that's the thing. You gotta go. You gotta go pick like. The if Wire. You, if you didn't watch The Wire, you didn't watch The Wire. I've watched it, but maybe I'll restart you know. it. Soprano. I'm yeah, a newborn pick. baby. I have to find my way. I'm crawling around just You're saying, a giraffe what do I like? who doesn't have his legs yet. You yes, know, I'm just around. like, once I land on something, hopefully I like it. I don't know, man. It's it's scary. It's tough. It's uh, Oh, this shit's real scary. But I mean, last night, Tom Hank, and uh, so it starts with the NCAA saying no fans, and obviously that progressed very quickly to now conference tournaments being canceled, and but. That happens. Tom Hanks is announced. His son. They're chilling. The the just the statement when he's like, "What's up, guys?" So it's true. My parents have coronavirus. What's up, everyone? Um, yeah, it's true. My parents got coronavirus. Crazy. One it's of wild. the unintentionally because, laugh because out loud. It's, it's funny. crazy. Like, and then at one point he said, "Like everybody's <laughs> tripping, man." They're not tripping, but they're going through the necessary health precautions, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> like, now I said, as far as where are we? Chet Hayes, Chet Hanks, not putting a shirt on for that video is very funny. Not even like, like he had a chance to look at it and be like, "Oh wait a minute, I look ridiculous. I got to put on this video." For the most put on this serious shirt video, video of his life. Probably. But that's the thing. He, you know, usually talks like an idiot. And uses stupid words and stupid slang. That was even even Chet Hanks knew to fucking. This is a serious matter. Yeah. Just everybody stay safe out there. Much love. I think. I have a little bit of like a conspiracy theory about Tom Hanks. That I feel like that like the government needed some some people to take, uh, take it seriously because of like you said some people in this office who don't. Yeah. They needed a face of coronavirus. So Chet so Tom Hanks puts out that statement being like. We're going to wash our hands. We're going to quarantine. We're going to do what they tell us to do because we, we're worried about blah, 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 blah. A lot of other people are going to start taking coronavirus seriously, too. If Tom Hanks does it, I'll do it, too. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, that he could be a, a thing. Because uh, if, you, if, you if you had to pick one person in this country to get people to go, whoa, hold up, wait a second, let me take a look. i got to learn about this. Yeah, he's up there, too. That's literally the first and last joke ever made on Veep. The first and last joke made on Veep is that 
Tom Hanks dies and overtakes the news, and that's all the attention right. in the world. So Veep just made that joke. Oh yeah, a few months ago. It's gonna be <gasps> in yeah. the papers tomorrow. Not necessarily. God, let's not make it the story in panic, okay? What if Tom Hanks dies? What? what? That's a dark thought. I'm not to do wishing anything. that. I'm saying anything could happen. Tom Hanks could die. I'm sorry. Breaking news. I've just been told that four-time Academy Award-winning actor Tom Hanks has died at the age of 88. The star of such Hollywood films as Big, Forrest Gump, Philadelphia, and Philadelphia 2 passed away in his Bel Air home after a long illness surrounded by his loving family. Husband of actress Rita Wilson and father of four children, Hanks was often considered the finest actor of his generation. I mean, it's the exact joke that Veep it made. Just, it's just so unbelievable that the number one most likable, biggest star is the first person we hear has it, you know? The first How about him signing person. his name Hanks with an X? H-A-N-X. I, I think that. anybody else does that, it's lame. He does it, it's fucking awesome. I don't know, I was wow. looking at his Twitter. He was just taking pictures of socks two days ago. I don't know what he was doing. Yeah, the, also the picture choice, like, what was that? Did yeah, he get, that was a crazy you get a, uh, What's it called, a colonoscopy or whatever? Yeah, what is it was it? like a, you know, I just took off the glove yeah. and threw them in the trash, but, like, we're good. It's, I think they, like, staged it. They're like, wait, yeah. make sure the glove is a little bit out. I'm telling you, the yeah, whole no, thing's staged. They need a face of corona. Sense. Yeah. It's Tom Hanks, man. Uh, what are you, where are you at, Kevin? Are you pay, like, Dave is adamantly I have I, I'm I'm somewhere where I've always been in the middle. I've never I've never been the guy saying this is just like the flu cuz it's not. It's not. I I've also never been like fully saying that this hysteria is necessary. It's like everything else in the world, it's somewhere in the middle. But my, I'm at, where I'm at now is it does not matter what the cause of the hysteria is. The hysteria is what it is. Like it's right. now like do I believe that the, the disease is bad enough to warrant all this? Personally, I don't, but that doesn't matter because that's what's happening. Right. The hysteria is happening. That scares me more than the actual disease itself. It's I don't fear, think I'm going to get unknown. sick. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm worried about the economy. I'm worried about schools. I'm worried about the reaction more so than, oh, my God, I'm going to get it. You think so, they'll ever shut down Manhattan? I do. Well, I mean, they already kind of are taking steps. So Cuomo said no gatherings of 500 or more. That's literally and that, just every train. Yeah, like, how do you, like, say and that? Then they, like, and then they said anything that's, like, if you're less than 500 – you have to take the fire marshal capacity and cut it in half. So basically, like that means like you can't have anything over like 250. I do fucking math so, every but, time. But I mean, about. you know, we're at 200 here. So like, there are going to be offices I think that have to close based on that rule. I think there are trains, restaurants. I think everything's about to go. Holy shit! I don't have enough ice cream. <laughs> I ate a third of my ice cream supply you, last If I night. said, do you have a flying saucer? You know what it is, right? Yeah. It's sit on the they box. They had no idea. I just sit on the Brandon box. Brandon had no idea. They looked like I was an idiot. It's, it's ice cream flying sandwich. Yeah. Is, but I just ate way too many of them last night because I thought, I didn't think it was going to be. You got to ration them out. You know, I, I, although I don't know if people like, people are going to go buy toilet paper or like rice. All ice that. cream might I be safe. I think ice cream might be safe. Well, that's yeah. the thing. I don't know what to buy. Like, it's not like it's a hurricane where you're gonna like lose power and like you're still gonna have water and your and your and uh, refrigeration and shit. Like you don't need to worry hope. about. Well, I mean, how are we gonna lose power because of a hope. disease? I hope. Oh, <laughs> that would be a motherfucker. Imagine I, right now Kevin, if on this top is of all this. Escalated so fast that I don't. I can't. I don't we, I'm done making we predictions. We let it get away. At, we we, like, we let it get away from us. Just right. Today. Like, but but, Flash Tuesday. I was like, okay, this is a, obviously a serious deal, but. Nothing's gonna change, right? But what changed yesterday? Like Hanks was later in the day, like the. Well, Rudy was, Gobert. But that was later in the day too, though. But you know what? I don't blame him because I would have done the same. No. Yeah, yeah. We made jokes. We made jokes. It's an asshole move. I know. Do we, we make like, jokes? Was he show, is he sick at all when he did that? I don't no. know, but we make jokes, we know Kevin. Sure. You that know was that. March, that was March 9th, and he was out. What's today? The 12th. So it's two days. But he and was he just doing a joke. Make jokes. He felt totally fine. Yeah, yeah he felt if fine. If you're showing any symptoms of anything and you're doing that, you're a fucking... No, I know. I agree, coach. but it's what also like... What an asshole that guy was. Fred Hoiberg? What are you doing, He has Kyle? influenza. I mean, that was nuts, though. He's sitting on the sideline. Well, well, it's like, more nuts oh, than, like, God. considering the fact that Nebraska is so bad at That's, basketball. Yeah, it's like, it's like, dude, you're not a, worth it. You're a football guy That team could go out there coachless and it doesn't fucking matter. You get a paper cut and you're like, I'm not going I gotta go. Yeah. Yeah. There was the shots of the, the mascots in the crowd of the Big East today just sitting all alone. It was the most symbolic shot I've seen when it comes to sports and coronavirus. It's just this fucking guy sitting there all by himself in, like, the 300s. I can't believe they didn't play the second half. Is that crazy? 
I mean, like, yeah, at that point, the damage is done. It's crazy the damage is done. You... If he got it, if, you know, someone's going to catch it during that game, they're going to catch it. Why wouldn't they just stop it, like, three minutes into the game? If they saw it all happen before, they would have stopped the well, game. Well, see, so I also think that's what's going on here is that there's a lot of half measures going on. Like, we're going to monitor it and push it back only to I inevitably do, cancel. Well, yeah, and I do think that, the, like, the, the things that people are doing now will slow it because it's just if you don't have large gatherings, if you don't have people walking around not washing their hands like well that's the logic is that you know let the, let slow the healthcare down. world catch up with studying and researching and developing while you guys just all Someone sit just inside. come up with a fucking fix. yo how yeah. how awesome what would you give to be like the doctor who has the answer if i was like, like everyone call, has to just drink this they're gonna call it like fine. you know like mush mush 1101 is gonna be like the anecdote it's gonna be named after you nope and you're you you do not want that no what that. no that's like you're the you're the you're, you're the hero. world yeah hero. then I you're have back to, keep... to what we were just saying at the start of the show go you're the guy tour. who saved yeah. it yeah you go on the late night tour the morning tour uh, but then, man, then they start looking up your old tweets. Well, yeah, then then it's, they, what happens you know. if something goes wrong with it after you? <laughs> it's true. It's just it's not true. Worth There's it. a lot. I'm I don't know somebody else do I'm it. I'm right. <laughs> it's the Ken Bone effect. <laughs> yeah. One day you're a hero, the next day you're looking at fucking pregnant porn on Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want that. <laughs> it's tough. It's I know. Tough There's no reason to be in the spotlight like that. <laughs> so... I mean, I, I feel like baseball is getting pushed back till like, June. Which actually, I feel like, I feel like baseball, they're going to do it. They'll be like, wait, this is actually kind of awesome. Right. Every game means when, so much wouldn't more. Wouldn't that be awesome if that's what finally got baseball to be like, all right, let's shorten the schedule. Yeah, Everybody yeah. like this? Everybody yeah, there's actually no it. reason to play baseball when it's 40 degrees out. <laughs> hey, right. Like, it's uh, great for the Yankees, Tom. Aaron Judge getting yeah. a little healthy. Not injury prone if he doesn't miss his any time. Yeah. <laughs> so what, dude, what if, uh, what if, what if Durant plays? Oh, oh, that's wow. going to win the NBA championship. Like, that would be incredible. Mm -hmm. Kyrie will be the better. That, be... Uh, NHL's talking uh, to arenas about getting time into late July, which would be wild. Our summer like, might be summer fucking hockey. fantastic. So I, Shitty I, ice and... I fixed the tournament. We have to do... It's a, So I, I, I assume it's going to be shut down for about a month. And then they go uh, regional sites in mid-April. They play first and second rounds Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off. Sweet 16, Elite 8, back-to-back oh, -back days, week. Saturday, Sunday. So no travel out of that. Right. You send 16 teams to each four locations. And then you basically catch up, right? I mean, it's almost right. like... Right, yeah. Uh, I mean, you'd you be know, behind a, a little still. instead of a month. But and then yeah. you still have that week where it's like wall-to-wall -wall basketball. Mm -hmm. They do a regional seating. So it's basically almost playing like conference... Eddie? Uh, Eddie? That was, you that got something to tell us? I would say, yeah. Uh, that was a uh, rock pipe uh, spit cough. Cuban care in the what country. What did you do? It was a wrong hair, wrong pipe uh, spit yeah, spot. You know what those are. You, the saliva goes left, it's supposed to go right. It was one of those. No, water goes left, food goes right. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, hear me out here. We have two tournaments. So, the like the Maui tournaments next year, we bring a, the tournament to start then. The people that got drafted get to play again one more time. I don't hate that. And either. then we have two tournaments mm. still in 20, 2021. Okay. That's kind of nice. See, this is, this is what's interesting is that there's gonna be some like cool shit to come out of this that we've never seen before. Some weird like, shit. Yeah, we're yeah. Gonna, yeah, we're gonna see we're gonna see like hockey at the same time as baseball at the same time as like the tournament. Like uh, things are gonna all start to like combine in a way that's like pretty wild. That downtime in July where it's just kind of baseball where it's like no one really cares about you're baseball. You're watching the, the Stanley Cup all of a sudden. Now? Yeah, it's like whoa. But the problem <laughs> I think is that all these leagues are gonna have so much pressure. From the other, if the M once the NBA says we're not worried about our profits, we're worried about the safety of the people, then the NHL has to follow suit, and MLB has to follow suit, and then Cuomo canceled Broadway out here in New York. So he did. Yeah. Oh, Broadway. Watch out, oh, Marty. Shit. What are you gonna do? I need to know. Were you in a musical in high school? <laughs> I was in two musicals. See, I knew it. I'm so excited. I like you ten thousand times more. <laughs> I fucking love musicals. Oh, I love it. I enjoy it. But you know what? It's funny still because yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're still playing. That that would be a great like. They should just say like we're 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 Corona proof. Yeah, we're, like, we're, yeah. We can't we can't. Like, no, like, we're, we're all worried about sports, but like uh, t uh, as far as tourists go, Broadway is like the biggest industry in New York. Oh, so and, like for the general public, oh, that's a big deal. Dude, like, there's yeah. so many like trickle down things mm -hmm. that are going on that like people are gonna be fucked. This is a mm -hmm. big. Schools I have a buddy who owns a bar. He's like, well, see I don't know what I'm gonna do. People own restaurants. It's like, well. You know, no one's coming to eat. Right. Will ever get shut down? We, us here. Us. I, I asked Dave. I said, so we have like a, a plan for like 
you know, if we're going to shut. He said, no, we're going to keep coming to work until everybody gets it. Then we get over it. We keep going. I <laughs> said, see, I don't think that's how it's going to work. doesn't. I still I, don't I mean, think I, he I understands. I feel like there will be a, like a, a mandate. Like, well, it's, not, it's not up to us. It's going to be like, like, like Cuomo said. I don't know if what he's talking about applies to places of business. But if he says you can't get 250 people together, well, we're at like 200. So we don't hit that number, but we're damn close. Right. And I tried to explain to Dave. I was like, but like. He keeps saying, well, it's just the old people can't get it. It's like, but what happens if the hot, like, we don't have the hospital beds to control this. That's the problem. And then what happens if you get hit by a car or right. you get. You go, you go into labor. Right. You, gotta, you go to the hospital. You, and you might get smarter from this. I know. I'm being actually up. thinking I'm going to become a genius. Without no, these, that, well, that's always smart, been the problem like, that people don't understand is that it's not necessarily about just, like, catching it and dying. It's like. When everybody floods really into else. the hospital, right, and there's no more resources of doctors for people who get shot, who get hit by a car, who get sick from other shit, then what do you do? When you cancel school, and the, there's kids who only the only way they get food is from going to right. school, there's what so do they many do? Things you like that. know, like yeah. shit like that, yeah. where it's like now you're fucking with people's lives on a day to day basis. That's not just about did you catch it and die, because that's what happens with the flu. It's like well, there's a lot of other shit right. that goes on with right. this. So I mean, it, it is a wild time in history. Uh, I feel like we're living in like a simulation. It really does. It does feel like a movie, like an end of the world movie, where we're at the beginning of it, where everyone's kind of going like, "Shit, this is different. Something feels fun." Right. All I'm doing is refreshing Twitter, waiting to see who's got it next, Mm -hmm. and it's terrible. Well, I really do think that they kind of like who can surprise you more than Tom Hanks? LeBron, you know, like it's gonna. I don't even know we'll figure out. We don't have enough tests. Yeah, that's. It's crazy crazy to put it in perspective. When I was reading about it last night, it's like. I think we've had, we've done like a thousand tests in America, and South Korea was doing like ten thousand a day. Australia too. That's how Tom Hanks. Some, it's something Tom Hanks very low. Got it done like that We're not doing tests. Yeah, that's insane. Because, uh, We're that's, way behind. That's the, that's the problem with like we don't have the capability or the resources or the system. But we do. But we do. We're like, just idiots. And, but it's like you know the Jazz got that shit done last night in a heartbeat when they oh, needed yeah, to. Oh yeah, I mean so the rich people definitely. and the privileged people are getting it done no problem. It's all the normals out here. Right. It's like, oh, I also don't think that they want. All right, so you, ten thousand people go to the doctor, you get the test done, everybody's confirmed to have it. Now there's true hysteria because yeah. there's no medicine. Right. So I think they'd rather people be in the dark, going, well, maybe I just have the regular flu, and not freaking out because then that's when people go like rioting. That's I when mean, there's like looting, being like, give me my fucking medicine. I mean, we have three people who've been out sick with the flu for like two weeks. Three. In this office. So, Stephen and Che. And by the way, there was that. Stephen Che, he texted me this morning. He went to the Jazz Knicks game two weeks ago or 10 days ago, sat in the 300 level, but Rudy Gobert. He was in the building. He texted me. He was like, do you want me to not come in? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what, dude? Stephen <laughs> Che. He's taking one. every precaution. He's like, just want to let you know. I went to the Jazz Knicks game last week. <laughs> that, that might be. That might be. Nah, that's funny. I mean, if you are working in like a cube job right now, start <laughs> cooking up things like that. Email <laughs> your boss. Be like, Dude. I was at the I was at the Jazz Knicks game. I Hold touched on. somebody. I high fived the player. Can I can I stay home from work, boss? He gave me Fucking even like Steven the seat Jay. location. He was like, uh, what do you say? Oh yeah, section two hundred one, row three, <laughs> eighty feet from the corner of the court and elevated. <laughs> Uh, like, what if he had I'm said fun. section one hundred one, forty feet from the court? Yeah, and now like, no, you're out. Get yeah. out. He gave you. He probably brought 102, his. One hundred two. You're good. One hundred three. One thousand percent. He'll bring his ticket stub in just to show everybody. He's this is where one I of a kind. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One <laughs> of a kind. Absolutely nuts, man. Um, anything? Uh, it's funny. There is nothing else going on. No, it's there's just nothing. I mean, there's nothing to talk about. Like, so Donovan Mitchell's father has it. He works for the Mets. I'm I'm putting oh. out a personal guarantee that the Mets will be the first team to have a confirmed player. With the disease, you knew that was coming. Done. That it's going to be Jed Lowry for sure, maybe <laughs> Cespedes. Um, but yeah, man, there's just nothing more that like the world can even handle right now. I mean, now is a great time to like, you know, if you uh, was it Tommy who said it? You can't get canceled during a pandemic. Yeah, you got bad news. Dump like, it right now. Right now, you want to commit a crime, you want to admit something, confess something. Now's the time to do it because no yeah. one's going to go fuck. No, not at all. I'm worried about you guys. I'm worried about you guys. I, I, I've, I've always, been not, not gambling and not having an alma mater who matters, I've always, every year, cared a little less about college basketball. So this is not affecting me as much as it is you guys. I'm worried for you guys. Speaking this is what's going to kill you guys. Speaking no, yeah. of alma mater, no. you're right. Alma maters. Fucking Duke. Oh, Marty's Scott. school. What? You want, they what don't want losers? Their kids, they don't want the kids getting the corona. 
I really hope they do Selection Sunday and just don't let Duke in. Imagine that. Like, nope, sorry. Yeah, you, you don't get You, you don't decided get you didn't want to be in it. Yeah. You're not a little jealous of Duke? No. They're, everyone's like, oh, no, look, look they Duke's jumped. gone. It's Listen, kind of funny. I, this is a very serious thing. Should be taken seriously. But to be like, we're out no matter what? Yeah, but that's, that's crazy. what everyone is doing. It's you the, never want to throw out like a ne- It's like a never say never. Like You, may, you, you know. never want to be like, I'll no, get coronavirus have, no, if you know the things. tournament doesn't oh, happen. Take that would be on insane. This. They got backsies on this for sure. But they definitely, it's just the cool thing to do right now is to cancel because no one knows what's going on. Kansas didn't, though. Misreported. I thought they did. No, people, d- this is the part of the hysteria that actually does drive me insane because it is very serious. Kansas said they're suspending all athletic uh, events indefinitely. And then Shefty quote to me, it was like, Kansas now out of the tournament. Say goodbye to like March Madness. And it's like, read what they wrote. They said suspended indefinitely. They could absolutely come back. I fucking had it. Yeah, you. but but uh, but that does imply to me that they're at no. the moment they're not playing in the tournament. Like no, if they no, they suspended indefinitely, and they even said like we'll be monitoring and and right. like right, right. see what happens. I yeah, I mean, people broke. automatically assume indefinitely just means like meaning like forever. Yeah, it's like no, they're just there's no definite said, answer that we can you yeah, know, we they're can just decide at any releasing minute. a statement that they're not doing anything but, until we but find you, out but more. But I just I feel like all of those things are half measures that people are taking now and that it's not it's not going to like fix. It's going to be like 6 months before they come up with something. So, what can happen that's going to make what what can happen that's going to make people say, "All right, we all can get back in an arena again." Maybe they start playing again cuz it's like, "All right, these all of the players in Division 1 that's a lot. Maybe all of the players in the NBA are deemed to be healthy. They can start playing again, but no one can be around them. Fine. But there's no way we're going to get, like, the crowds back in there anytime no. soon. No, I don't think we have a no, chance I don't to. No, I don't Listen, the crowds don't matter to me. Like, I mean, I'm it fine. does matter, though. It matters, yeah. but if you... I need a ball. If we're all... Yeah. If we're all, I need a, I need a ball on a screen moving back and forth. That's it, it actually will be kind of an interesting wrinkle, too, to watch these teams play with no crowd, with no It was kind of momentum the St. John's no, game for the first... The half was kind of wild. To watch. Right. And yeah. I was getting used to it. And they it. do it in Europe all the time whenever someone best. does something racist in a soccer game. The Orioles they already They do it every FIFA just does that all the time. <laughs> all right. So, I mean, Rudy Gobert's an asshole. Uh, no. No, he's not, according to you guys. Uh, I, just, uh, I, I just... Tom Hanks is okay. It, it, it and, obviously didn't turn out well for him, but, like, when I saw him do that, I was like, that's something I would do. That's <laughs> like, oh, I'm going to Corona, Corona. Yeah. <laughs> Let's wrap Now, up. if you did it now, then you're an asshole. That's yeah. the thing. It has I shifted. thought he was showing symptoms and did it. If he if he truly was 100% healthy when he did that, that's different. Because I'm like, right this after is, a game, though. This is one of those things, like, if you if you were on Monday, Tuesday being like, oh, who ke-? like, ha, ha, ha. But now, after, you know, Trump took over the airwaves last night and, like, everyone's like, holy shit. If you're still being like, it's the common flu, then you're an asshole. Yeah. Some I tried people. to tell Dave. I was Some like, people. There's a hill, and his Dave's on it, and night. the only person on it is the fucking lights man. I didn't see his video going down, uh, double and triple and down <laughs> I on it. I didn't see that there coming. He was like, oh, there he is. <laughs> yeah. Like the, how you're standing, you're standing strong. I said, uh, you're it's a hill, you're triple and it's down you and the it. lights man. I'm going to day trade my way up. <laughs> I just put in a fucking shit to the money in each trade. <laughs> Davey Davey Traders back. Davey the Davey best Traders part of the gonna... press conference is like Italy. You know, they—it's a cultural thing. They live with their it old is team. A big part so, of it. what do you think of that 47-year-old in Italy that died? You're getting close to 47. I mean, people died. Uh, oh, All one, your birthdays. One, one 47-year-old in the world died. Well, that one that we know. Well, how many people been in the world? Reported. How many uh, people in the world? You, Bill. Uh, okay, so one 47-year-old died in the world from coronavirus. I'm not gonna get. I mean, again, old. You have like inherent health issues, yeah. Like we're all safe. People around. Let me tell you something about I mean, me too. It's one the, right now, but what if there's a couple more forty-year-olds? But, but then... the people die every day by crazy things. I, listen, I was a like Lysol guy and like germ guy way before this. Anybody who's been with me, I hit that Purell like it's fucking going out of style before. Nothing has changed. I don't know why people aren't this like worried about just catching the flu. I've always been afraid There's of sickness. There's treatment for the flu. And we've had What's the flu that? for There's treatment years. for the flu. Our no, once you get the flu, there's no the treatment for it. You get Tamiflu. Yes, there's treatment. There's no, no there isn't. Once one. you get the flu, you're done, though. This is a days. novel virus. I don't know what that means. That means it's never been seen in bodies. But people are getting it and getting out. A 103-year-old beat it. No, someone got it twice. Got what? It they got it again. Get, I, yeah, you can get the flu multiple times. Someone got the Rona twice? Twice. Oh, shit. Listen, nothing has changed. Nothing. 
They're shutting down. The only thing I'm on the side of, if we're going to start shutting shit down, shut everything down. I don't understand this half ass. Are we that... shutting down? No. <laughs> what if they shut everything down? Then, yeah, we will. It's got to be like a decree. Like, hey, New York City, shut down. Well, so, like, when, when Cuomo, Cuomo said you can't get people, groups of 500 together, and that if you, and anything less than 500, the occupancy, you have to cut the occupancy in half. Like, the fire marshal says 200 people can like, be there. What is that? Do? Only 100 people can be there. So, stops the Rona. So, I, I, don't I don't know if we can be here. I don't, think, is... I don't think you can have 200 people in an office, according to Cuomo. When did he say that? Well, uh, it, like, an hour ago. He canceled Broadway, and he said that, no groups of 500 or more. Fucking that was funny boys. when Cuomo and his brother were on TV at the same time, and you're like, one of you's got a lot of work done. <laughs> like, like yeah. you're the same guy. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. So, I don't know. I mean, I feel like... Uh... Uh, if we want to cancel everything, then cancel everything. Nobody should be like a ghost. I walk down the streets, no different. Yeah, I know. New York is... There's yeah, people filling the restaurants. Spot. There's people, everyone's passing it around. They're going to get sick. Fine, get sick. Get better. Just don't talk to old people or unhealthy. See, see, one forty-seven. Am I supposed to? One forty-seven-year-old in the world died. Do you Big see, fucking whoop. Do you see Duke fucking trying to just coach K? K what a scum. You, you know, there's a meeting yes. like, hey, yes. we're postponing. He's like, I'll do. It. He yes. he's the only guy. No. He, so I'm now they inject him with Corona. You know what they no, said? They, they don't shoot well, him. Say that. They, so they, what? They said that they were gonna maybe still run Selection Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Wait and see. Imagine if they just don't let Duke in. They'll put Duke in there. And then there's a rule in the bylaws that the closest school. Gets, Sorry, gets Coach K spin. just wants oh, to get some might, you might think they want I, to be listen, safe. We won't stop the spread. That's fine. But nothing has fundamentally changed, in my point of view. It's not a, a deadly virus yeah, for young, is. healthy people. No, it isn't. What makes you think it, if everyone no, for, has it, young, as they're people. saying, everyone already has it. We're too late. There's not this rash of healthy people dying. Yeah, but we got to stop it. You got to stop it for the old people. But I'm fine with that. Stop it for the old it, people. Like we were just talking about, you got to stop it for other, like, so when yeah. doctors and hospital beds and resources right, are all taken it. up by this, and then other people but are dying people, from why other are people, Right, fine. So then nobody, it should be a, a countrywide quarantine for three weeks. Fine. I feel like that's probably coming. But that, what I'm are we waiting for that. then? I, I feel like, rather they, I feel just like do it. it's probably right. hard to like, yeah. organize and do it, but I think Italy, Italy was like the, the blueprint where they were like, let's quarantine here, let's stop this. You know what? Fuck it, let's shut the whole thing down. It's a bigger country to do it here, so that's I problem, just think I, my only problem is it is not a scary disease for young, healthy people. When I say you're, if you're under and sixty, no health issues. It's not scary. You're, you're, it may be scary well, for your relatives. What about underlying noodle? I mean, yeah, you, you, you have an underlying noodle. People, they're, okay, they're, people are just <laughs> operating like it's normal business. We put a tour in. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, I know we do have a tour. And they all showed up. Imagine yeah. if that was written like, yeah, he did. He had underlying noodle. I have noodle right now. I know. You're you kind of so you're you're no, in no, your forties. You're noodle. in your mid forties and you and you got, got a noodle. And you, yeah, you All have I a know disease. Is corona. You Who also, cares? You remember you bet on a game when you were fourteen. That was still not noodle. It's true. You're <laughs> noodle now. It's true. Whatever. I'm gonna day trade the fuck out of this. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm like not joking. <laughs> <laughs>